Just thought I'd take a video of my 2016 Scrambler XP 1000 from Polaris. You'll see it on a lot of the videos on my channel. Uh, later on I'll be doing a similar overview and ride sound video from the Sportsman 850, the 2016 model as well. But this one's going to primarily focus on the Scrambler. Uh, we purchased this model in early July of 2016. I was looking at between this and the Renegade, but I ended up going with the Scrambler for a couple of different reasons. So, let me go ahead and get started. I'll go from front to back and then crank it up and do a ride sound. One of the things that I did like about this model versus the Renegade is the Racky's ability. Here you've got it tied down from a small front area for anything you need to secure up here. And you've also got a small rear rack. I don't remember if this is rated for 40 or 70. I'm not sure. I mean, it's not, you know, crazy uh, utility-wise, but, you know, it does have a couple of features. And you've also got the small storage area here. Uh, one thing about the headlights, they are LED. But you've got this little space here. I'm not sure what that's for. Why it's there. Airflow mud or what, I'm not sure. Uh, then you've got, see the radiator there, it's kind of dirty. I try to clean it up as much as possible, but it's been on quite a few trips this year so far, even though I've only had it one season. You can see the power steering module there. Uh, the Fox Racing shocks I've got in tuned as soft as possible as I can to keep from bottom. And I'm not doing a lot of jumps, but we do ride a lot of rocky terrain, so try to keep as soft as possible the ride uh, power steering does help a lot with the bouncing around uh, one of the main purchases in this off season is going to be the skid plates and a winch because it does not come with a winch they come with a front bumper pretty nice though I did scratch it when loading it one time bumped it into the edge of the trailer see the front diff there the CV yeah, these are only skid plates it comes with. Pretty much crap. So they did come with some nice tires and wheels. Yeah, six ply. With this model though, you're gonna make sure that you get a oil filter removal wrench to come from up from the bottom because you can't get to it from either side. It's very well protected on the bottom. Go ahead and take this off. So you get a battery department those on the electricals. Battery looks big, but it's actually turned on the side. So, got your radio there. Set back a little later. Pretty good size gas tank. I don't remember exactly how many gallons. Uh, it did come with the hand guards. I'm going to be taking these off. I just don't like how they look. You know, from the front. There's no headlight here, but I've never had a problem with these not bringing bright enough. There, there's a hole close through there. Reverse override, engine on and off. All drive selector. Let's see how many hours I've got on here so far. 384 miles in one riding season. 53 hours. But yeah, I do really like this seat. It's very cushiony, much more so than the Sports Mini 50 seat. I do have a pretty big gripe about the seat though. Taking it off or putting it on is a bitch. So, Thunder, I'll clean this out pretty well. One thing about this model here the engine is turned sideways. 
so it does offer you a slimmer kind of sport utility a uh, sport quad uh, engine I mean not engine but seat width they did put the air filter in here it does come now with a precharger bag to kind of help with that and see here now that the engine is turned sideways here is where your CVT bell housing is if you need to change that so that's going to be a bitch probably Let's change it not nearly as easy as the traditional model with it right here you just take the cover off and change it out problem with the seat is it's got to fit here but it also has these two areas here where it clips in and it's just a bitch to get it on both areas here it's kind of stiff you should get some indicators here what gear you're in but it is kind of stiff I'm going through like right now it's in neutral but it doesn't really indicate that very well there pretty good foot pegs and foot wells still kind of clean even though I've taken it quite a bit is your antifreeze the view of the shocks in and a view of the rear diff, stabilizer, and the exhaust. I do really like the exhaust sound and the exhaust note on these. You can see where the shocks turn upside down, but they are really easily adjustable. You don't need a tool or anything. Go ahead and crank it up. See how it sounds. So I knew about the headlights. Same but never had an issue with the headlights not being bright enough. These lights do come with a stock. All these areas here do get kind of warm. There are kind of protected. About this area on the stock car itself. I've never had it get so hot. Super cold enough here to where it's gonna make a real difference with wind. 
that's about it. This is the matte and green, lime green finished version. Now they've got a red version as well. I like this color scheme much more than the traditional white that they used to have. So, I did check out a lot of reviews and a lot of information on comparing this model with the Renegade 1000R. While they do share a lot of similar characteristics, the Renegade is so much more geared to high speed and racing that one of the issues found was that it's hard to just creep around with it whenever you need to go slow and you're not needing to gas it up and go crazy on it. Where I've got a family here, you can see the Brute Force there, another Brute Force 300 and the 50 there, so we got a lot of family riding, so I need to be able to go slow when I need to. And when I'm on some precarious rock perches and shit like that, I need to be able to just creep along. So, yeah, that's about it. Uh, otherwise, I've been pretty happy with it. I haven't had any issues at all. It does make a little bit of noise when you use the back brake. Uh, but I think that's just a drive shaft bounce around in there. But, yeah, otherwise, really great. Really fucking fast. I've got it up to 50 so far up in Arkansas. But yeah, it's good. Really cushiony ride. Went from Raptor 700 to this. Uh, next video will be on 2016 850. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.